Hi, I'm Matt from River Drive Cooperage in Millwork, and today we're going to be talking about the anatomy of barrels. With us here, we have a typical bourbon barrel and a wine barrel, and we're going to talk about the differences between the two, but also the similarities as well. Here we have a typical bourbon barrel, very common in the industry, with a rated capacity of 53 gallons or 200 liters. The most obvious things are we're going to have two heads, and then we're going to have six hoops that are holding the barrel together. And this is the only thing holding this entire barrel together. So it's very important that these stay present and tight. These bands are just regular steel, so if they're exposed to the elements or water, they will rust over time. We're also going to see on the rivets that hold the bands together, there's sometimes initials from the cooperage that initially made them. Of the six bands that are on the barrel, there's actually three different sizes and two of each. So the head of our barrel is going to have what we call the head hoop. Roughly a quarter of the way down the barrel is what we call our quarter hoop. And then all the way down towards the middle or the bilge of the barrel is what we call our bilge hoop. So our bilge hoop, our quarter hoop, and our head hoop or band. We're going to have roughly 30 to 33 staves. One of the staves, preferably the widest, will be our bung stave and have the bung hole in it. Bourbon barrels are traditionally made from quarter sawn American white oak. Quarter sawn meaning the way that they're milled specially at the lumber yard. Now, here's a stave, and a barrel is gonna be made up of roughly 30 to 33 of these of various widths. They're all gonna be uniform thickness, roughly about an inch, and as you can see, they're curved in many ways. They have a little bit of a concave to them here and a convex to them. The sides are even curved a little bit as well, and the most obvious is the large curvature of the stave, which gives the barrel its shape. Now, as you can see on the ends of the stave, this is the very important piece to pay attention to. Our chime and crow's groove on the end, our crow's groove being a little tiny groove here that our lid, and this is a piece of a lid, will clip into. This bevel that runs along the outside of the lid clips right into here, and that's what gives us our water tightness of the barrel. This is also the most delicate part of the barrel and can be easily damaged if the barrels aren't handled appropriately, like if they fall out of a truck, off a forklift, or get struck. This type of construction with the crows and the crows groove is similar between wine and whiskey barrels. The two different types of barrel head construction are very hard to tell when you're just looking at the barrel without taking it apart. But it's also something that is very important to keep in the back of your mind. Tongue and groove construction works great because it really locks together well. However, if the barrel is struck on the side and we affect that crow's groove, the boards can actually slide on each other, creating a pretty substantial hole. The doweled construction obviously won't slide. However, it's important that they stay very, very tight together because there's nothing between these boards other than the dowels, and it's just a flat surface and pressure holding them together. As mentioned earlier, wine barrels do have a lot of similarities with bourbon barrels, but then again, there are some minor differences. This is a, a very standard wine barrel. We see it's a little bit larger. So this has a rated capacity of roughly 59 gallons, which is actually 220 liters. Similar to the bourbon barrels, wine barrels are gonna most commonly have six bands on them as well. Some wine barrels might have eight bands on them, some can have up to 10 bands, and some will also have a wooden band around the head. These bands, as we can see, are a little bit different from the bourbon barrel bands because they're galvanized steel. Also, the rivets are a little bit more rounded, and they don't traditionally have any markings or initials from the cooperage that made them on them. But very similar, we have our headband, or our head hoop, our quarter hoop, and our bilge hoop. You'll also notice that the wood does look a little bit different and that's because wine barrels are traditionally made from French oak, while bourbon barrels are only made from American oak. Now having said that, wine barrels are also commonly made from American oak and that is perfectly fine as well. It just depends on what flavors you're looking to get. The difference is gonna be sometimes our chime, which is this area inside the barrel. And we'll notice on this one, it's actually a little bit larger but we still have our crow's groove and our crows that lock the head into place. Heads are also still made of multiple boards and are still held together, kind of like how we talked about earlier with either a tongue and groove or a dowel construction. So that's a basic understanding of the anatomy of these barrels. 
there are a lot of similarities and a lot of differences as well. Now these are just two common barrels in the industry, but barrels can come in all shapes and sizes and from many different producers. If you guys have any questions at all, feel free to reach out on our website.